People regularly ask me where I think the Dow will go. And because I've been in investment business for almost a half a century, they kind of miss the point that I don't pay attention to the Dow. And when I tell them I've never paid attention to the Dow, they say, why? And that's because when I was young, I learned it's a flawed index. Why is it a flawed index? It's a flawed index because actually the price movements of the Dow don't actually reflect the underlying economics of the stocks. In that, price weighting means that you've got this universe of stocks. They're weighted according to their price. And then there's this divisor that adjusts for any stock splits or what have you. The problem is, however, it's still a price-weighted index. And if the stock that's worth 20 moves a lot, and the stock that's worth 100 moves less, the stock that's worth 100 actually has more impact on the index because it's the absolute point moves. That problem, which is inherent to all price-weighted indexes, is something people have a hard time with. Price-weighted indexes were originally created because it's easy to do a few stocks with a pencil and a piece of paper. In a world of computers, you'd never do that. You'd use a variety of other forms of weightings, the most common one being cap weighting. But price weighting is just an obsolete technology that still lingers on, in my opinion, because in this case, it's got the name Dow associated with it and the power of Dow Jones and Company and the Wall Street Journal. But otherwise, price weighting is just an obsolete technology that doesn't actually reflect the economics of the underlying stocks.